Today we're out at the uh, Cook County Forest Preserve District once again. It's like my go-to spot, you know, if I want to stay close near the house without driving miles and miles away. I'm starting here at Saganaski Slough, and uh, it's a pretty big sized lake for the Cook County Forest Preserves here. But we're gonna head across the street and access the Orange Loop. It's like a six mile loop. It's way back there, there's a primitive section. So it should be pretty cool. We finally got some sunshine today. We had about 10 days in a row of overcast gloom, but uh, it's 2024, finally. So let's hit the trail, check it out. We're heading north in between the two parking lots there's a little red access trail. Finally hit the orange here at intersection 20. Let's start this orange loop. We got a long walk. Seen a blue jay already, but I could never get him on camera. You know. Nice and slippery. Mm. Oh, we're going up, up, up. A lot of climbing here so far. Still going up. Right, intersection 21. Good to see the sunshine today. 23. Another great trail is the yellow section. We're gonna stay on this primitive section all the way. And get back to the main section then. coming out on the old this is the old access road to the uh, old Argon National Lab where they did the uh, atomic bomb research and intersection 30 I'm gonna stay on the old orange so I go up the old access road here for a while going well only because we're going right by it here on the orange trail we're gonna take a little side detour over to the uh, only the only uh, nuclear waste and nuclear reactor burial site in the United States that's open to the public. Yep. And there's uh, six corner markers. You can see one there. There's one there. 
little stones and uh yeah that's it folks i haven't seen one person out today um which is a good thing so getting a lot of peace and quiet out here oh we're at 40. got the red cut off here I could shorten my walk by a couple of miles, but uh, no, I'm gonna continue on the orange, come all the way around, so let's do it. Trail's a little more wider here. This area gets a little more, uh, more usage from the Bullfrog Lake uh, area and Usually you see people out here. I still haven't seen anybody all day yet, so I'm surprised. straight south here back down to towards uh, Saganaski Slough we're at uh, intersection 2 we passed the Bullfrog Lake and everything uh, there's the new campground there and what not that's a new sign on me i never seen nothing like that before Caution, drops ahead. Hmm. Wow, this really continues down, downhill all the way from that sign. So I guess I could see why they put the sign now. And then it, there's Saganaski Slough again. And it's downhill all the way. And I could see this, you know, on a mountain bike would be pretty, uh, intense I wouldn't even do it on skis because it's uh, I don't know too tight of turns too many rocks too many hazards but it's great for walking or hiking oh yeah here we come Yeah, this uh, intersection 19, the black, that is all, uh, you know, advanced mountain biking. And so is that section of the orange. That black really has a nice uh, area here. And that's all, all advanced. Sun's back out again. Pretty nice day for January 2nd, I even see robins and stuff. You know, it's crazy. Um, I'll tell you what, this orange loop is a hell of a hike. Came out where I went in on that little red section and uh, back on 107th Street Saganaski and there's uh, the parking lot up ahead there I'll tell you what that was uh, a long hike it's like 130 started at 10 to 11 so like two and a half hours solid it's a solid six miles a lot of hills nice trail starting and ending here at the lake and uh, see you on the next one